Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? This is one of my published blogs at Natural News. You can see the title. Um, this covers videos that I did already a couple days ago, but I failed to include a, a major part of the story. So I'm going to read this. Okay. So, yes, this was by me. And hold on, let me in. Okay. So, the fracking techniques they use is to inject high pressure cold water into the wells to induce seismic activity. Scientific data shows how fracking may have been deliberately designed to create a geological process by which lava would drain from Kilauea summit into the East Rift zone um, so as to create large new vents and would destabilize the geology and possibly trigger a major collapse in the Helena fault system. If the Helena slump, I'm sorry, if the Helena slump should collapse into the ocean and that would trigger a massive tsunami, it is noteworthy to mention that the geothermal plant was built on a fault line. Here is what I, I did not include in my previous videos. The United States is the main obstacle to such an authoritarian new world order being created and secret geoengineering was therefore undertaken in Hawaii that would create a mega tsunami via a major collapse of the Helena fault line system. It is also, this is the part right here, okay? It is also important to mention that this is the second time in 2018 that Hawaii was targeted by the deep state slash global elites for some kind of catastrophic event an event that would economically and militarily weaken the United States. On January 13th, 2018, do you all remember the missile alert that was going on in Hawaii? All right, they had the alarms going and it was going for about half an hour. Well, guess what? Uh, this explains it right here. On January 13th, 2018, a ballistic nuclear missile was sent by a secret CIA-linked Navy called the Dark Fleet in a false flag attack that was meant to embroil the United States in a catastrophic nuclear war. All right, and then I said the geothermal plant was funded by the Rothschild and is owned by Israel. So let's look at this Dark Fleet. Okay. Okay, right here. Let's click on that. Okay, the Dark Fleet. Sins of a Solar Empire. Wiki. Uh, Vasari. The Dark Fleet was was the former... Vas I'm sorry, the page moves. Was the former Vassire Vasari Empire's naval fleet. It's not former, it's still present. Apparently, it used to be... used to expand the Empire's domain. It seems that each system that the Vasari conquered was assigned to a wing of the fleet. The Dark Fleet was all but destroyed. It was not destroyed. It's, it's obviously very active. Uh, it was all but destroyed in the Empire's final days, as the entirety of its vessels were destroyed. No, they weren't. Okay? This is their lies. By an unknown threat, okay, an unknown threat chasing the Fis the Fisari. Uh, unknown threat. That everybody should know what that means. Due to the size of the empire, as Emmanuel describes it as having hundreds of worlds, the fleet must have been massive and very powerful. And it's still in existence today. And obviously, yes, it's massive and very powerful. So they sent over on January 13th of this year, a missile was sent by, by a secret CIA-linked Navy, Dark Fleet. So that, that missile alarm, everybody heard in Hawaii, that was real. That was very, very real. At any point, I'm not going to continue with my blog because you guys already know it's, this would be repetitive. But I did forget 
this one important part. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.